Hello guys, so today we will see how to upload a file using the Node.js API or Node.js projects. So we can use uh, image file, uh, excel file, document file or etc. So in another video we will talk about the validation of uh, files. So in this file we will choose the uh, any type of file. So let's start. So there are few basic steps which we will follow. So step number one, create a project or choose existing one. So if you are working on any existing project, so then you can choose that. So I'm creating the new project. So we will start from the sketch. So I've created one folder with the name of file upload app. So I will open the command prompt and then I will type code space dot to open the Visual Studio code. I will open terminal. So there are some basic commands to uh, set up one project. So npm install hyphen hyphen y npm install npm install express multer npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev hyphen node mount. So basically the main package is multer. So we are using the multer package to for the file okay. so you can see that package.json file has been created from the npm install npm init hyphen hyphen y command next command is npm press and multer so before pressing the enter key i will show the package.json file so you can see that there is no dependencies of multer or express so after the installing the express and multer so it will add the uh, dependencies over here okay oh, i have not tried the install so you can write uh, npm i express multer so you can use the i instead of install so now you can see that uh, express and multer already uh, added okay so next is npm hyphen save hyphen tab dependencies and not mon oops again i missed Now npm to check any packages which is saying up to date. There is no package which we are missing. Okay. So let's just start with another step. So open package.json file and set a start file name like start node one app.js. Okay. In the app.js, go to this section and write it. So <clears throat> we need the app.js file. So let's create one file with the name app.js. You can choose the name as per your requirement like index.js, app.js or anything. So uh, same file name will be applicable here. Okay. So let's just start with the code. Press equal to require press multer equal to require multer. Let's 
where your file will be upload so it will create one folder with the name upload and inside the upload i will create one more folder with the name user okay so let's create one disk storage method Best file and CB. So CB will be callback. So we will use the callback function. Return CB. So first parameter we will pass null. So first parameter basically used for error. So we are passing as null. And here file name dollar file dot file name underscore dollar date dot now underscore path extension name file dot original file name so it will fetch the extension from the file dot original name okay so now let's move to another method first Upload. So upload will be your function. Storage will be disk storage and limit file size. So this 200, 2000 is in byte. Okay. So basically this will uh, help you to validate your file that it is not exceeding with uh, 2000 bytes. So we will check uh, uh, when we run the project. Let's create one file name. Let's create method. Post, post method. Single and with the user keyword, we will fetch our file. Request and response. So I'm passing the file URL as with my <clears throat> localhost URL. 
So uh, when your file will be uploaded successfully, then you will get the success message and the file URL. So local host. One two three will be port. I will use that port and user plus dollar. So let me change the uh, symbol over here. So I will use this. So I will pass the dynamic request dot file dot file name. Okay. Now we will set our port number. So app port listen app listen four one two three. This is optional. Project is so suppose if you will get any exception in your project, so <clears throat> how to handle that? So I will create one global function to handle the exception. exception handler. So error, request, response, and next. These are the parameters. So if error instance of multer dot multer error. Multer error. Then response to listen. So this okay. That's it. Message. So let's have a look. Okay, let's start the project. Oh, my. Let me do one thing. We will use this exception handler. Now, npm start. So you can see that project is in run state. So means your project has been started. So we will use the Postman to check the API. So uh, our port number is uh, four one two three. Okay, let's move to Postman. Post. Yes. What will be the method name? Method name will be your. Okay. So this is a post method and go to body, form data and write the file parameter name. So that is user. So change the type of this to file and select file. So let's see. So it is saying file is too large. So okay. So I will give some more space again it is saying file to large let's add one more zero so you can see that uh, file has been successfully created and this is the file path so if i will go to my uh, application so you can see that uh, it has created the upload folder and there is one more folder with the name user and our file is so if I will go to the 
application upload folder user and you can see that so there is one more thing so i will use the enum over there uh, this is optional uh, uh, just to add some more features Launched my enum I will use this is for basically to set the um, specific values so this can be used in your whole application I will use in MB1024 into 1024 so props value is 1 ok now for this let's use this for okay. and we can set the destination also over there and we can uh, use our port number also so port number is also i think uh, a common variable Now again, start the project. Sorry, and start. So this thing, listening address, address already in use. Okay, no worry. It will work. Now you will see that two files will be there. So let me turn another file. You can see there is one more file. I will share this code in the video description. So that is the uh, code for file upload. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and like and share. Thank you.